Welcome to Thought for January 26th. Our readings are Genesis 42 and 43, Psalm 46, 47 and 48, and Matthew chapter 28. And our thought is, God is our refuge and strength. Just as parts of the Psalms, such as Psalm 22 verse 1 and Psalm 16 verses 10 and 11, foreshadow events and sayings in the mortal life of our Lord Jesus Christ, so Psalms 46 and 47 we read today can be seen as portraying the awesome events at and after the time of his second coming. The overview of these events, which these Psalms provide, show how vital it will be for us to possess and to show the same earnestness to have the full assurance of hope until the end. Imitators of those who, through faith and patience, inherit the promises. Hebrews chapter 6, verses 11 and 12. The opening of Psalm 46 should be memorised and become part of our daily thoughts. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble. Verses 1 through to 3. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter, we read in verse 6. But in the midst of this awesome upheaval, the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High, is seen. God will help her when morning dawns, we read in verse 4 and 5. Until that dawning, the darkness of human depravity and folly will dominate life on earth. But with the dawning to a new day which the return of Christ will bring, will, be, will come a sober reflection on God's judgments. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought dis desolations on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. How wonderful, how awesome. But as it becomes more and more evident that God's judgments are starting today, how vital it will be that God is our refuge and strength, and for us to be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, he says in verse 10. At that time, may we, by God's grace, be part of the action described in Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is to be feared, a great king over the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations. Verses 1 through to 3. If God is truly our refuge now, then by his grace, that will be our experience. Thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Mm -hmm.